Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Hydro, and I recently got three new products that I'm really excited to talk about and do videos for. So, without further ado, this is video number one out of three of the new products that I have purchased recently. So today we're going to be talking about the Subtank Nano from Kangratech. I wanted something that was a little bit smaller than the other tanks that I had, especially smaller than the Aspire Subtank that I have. That thing is not massive, but it's pretty big. Something that would fit really good on a box mod or something like that that's still pocketable to an extent. So I went into my local vapor store and picked up this tank right here. Let me go ahead and show it to you. This is what it looks like. I picked it up for $20, which uh, in my opinion is a complete steal and I will tell you why and show you why and all that. Normally these go for about I've seen them for 40 to 45. I'm sure some websites have them for even cheaper. Right now, myvaporstore.com has these on sale. I want to say they're around $26, right around there. Either way, total steal in my opinion. So it's got adjustable airflow right down here at the bottom, removable drip tip, as per use. You know, this isn't anything new. Fills from the bottom, nice glass tank, nice o rings all the way around just a really good solid product as you'd expect from Kangertech. does come with an extra head and an extra extra glass glass tubing for the tank so all in all really good value right so this is what the actual head atomizer whatever you want to call it looks like it's got two holes for wicking one on each side and then you probably won't be able to see down there because I have used this one so it's got juice residue on there but that's where your coil is going to be so just wanted to kind of show you that what it looks like it is square versus round like a lot of the other ones were I just thought that was kind of interesting but you get a point or 1.2 which is what that one I showed you was is <laughs> and you also get a 0.5 ohm so the 0.5 ohm is the one that I actually have in here so that's obviously going to give you more more vapor production and and all of that so it's gonna vape a little bit hotter so let's check out the vapor production while we're talking about it so a really good vapor production now what I'm using this on is the e-leaf i-stick 40 watt with temper temperature control which I actually just got today. This is one of the other things that I'll be talking about in a later video. Spoiler alert, loving this thing. So much better than the previous style device that I purchased. Didn't really know what you I guess you I guess it's a box mod kind of. We'll get into that though in, a, in another video. I'm also vaping just for any of those people who are wondering, um Uncle Junks. John Wayne's 18 milligram. I believe it's a 70-30 blend, so 70 VG 30 PG at least that's what I've been told so I, I'm loving that e-liquid it's a tobacco blend so anybody who's looking for a really good tobacco blend give that a shot I really liked it I, I, I've been buying bottles and bottles of these things so so check that out if you're looking for a really good tobacco blend because I really enjoy it I really want to check out some of the other stuff but anyway this video isn't about that so yeah, the reason I bought this was because I wanted something smaller. So I went down to the vapor store to see if they had anything that was smaller than my Aspire tank, something that would fit on a device like this, although I just got this today. So something that would be smaller and more compact. And so I saw this one. This one stood out, and I was like, oh, it's a Kanger, and it's about the size that I want. So I was asking the clerk that worked there if it was a good good tank and she was like yeah it's a really good tank actually uh, really good flavor and, and pretty decent vapor and it's on sale for 20 bucks and I was like 20 bucks that's great because I really was going in there thinking I was gonna end up spending 30 or 40 no problem without breaking a sweat but 20 bucks I was like I have to I have to try this out it's a it's a small sub tank for 20 bucks so I have to try this and I gotta say that I'm so glad I did. I've been using this nonstop for about two weeks now. And the 0.5 head that's in here is still going strong. I would imagine that probably within the next week, maybe two weeks, I'm probably gonna have to replace it because 
these coils don't really seem to last a long time, especially if you're using a thicker e-liquid. So there have been a couple times where I get sort of a, I wouldn't say a burnt hit, but you can really tell that it's not not the same hit that you've been getting the whole time. So every once in a while I'll get that. So I'm probably going to be looking at getting some new some new heads for this. Speaking of which, online they go for anywhere between, I've seen them for like $250 to $3 each. So not too bad in my opinion. I, I've yet to see a five pack or anything like that. I've only seen them individually. So if I'm buying one of those once a month, that's not too bad for what I vape. Now I don't vape all day every day. I do vape quite a bit, but I would say I do it in maybe five minute sessions every maybe three times an hour, let's say. So maybe 15 minutes every hour I'm vaping. So I'm not constantly vaping all day, especially when I'm at work. I'll go two or three hours without vaping because I'm working. So I have to wait for my one of my breaks. So something like this is going to last me for a while. I'm also not using it as super high wattage. I mean, I'm at 23 watts at this point. So it's not it's not a super high wattage that's going to maybe burn the coil a lot faster. So for me, that's sort of the sweet spot right now. I'm kind of working my way up to 25, then to 30, and kind of moving, moving up as I go. Small increments, but for right now, that's sort of my sweet spot. And that's where I feel like I'm getting a lot of vapor, good throat hit, it's just the right temperature for me, and I'm getting really good flavor. So I can say that I'm getting all of those from one tank. A lot of the other tanks that I've purchased, they either give me great flavor, but not great vapor, or vice versa. This one I feel like I'm getting everything from, and I'm it, really curious to try out a lot of Kanger's other tanks they have out right now to see how they perform as compared to this one. So let's take another vape just to check it out. So yeah, pretty good. I feel like this has really given me a satisfying vape. Now this may not be for everyone though. Somebody who is a, a real cloud chaser, this may not be powerful enough for them and you're probably better off just building your own coils and using your own cotton and things like that. Totally understandable. For me, somebody who just wants to screw something in there and just go, just fill up a tank and go and just be done with it, this is great because it's giving me enough vapor production that I feel like I'm really getting satisfaction out of the amount of vapor that I'm putting out but it's also giving me great flavor too so it's something that I don't really find with a lot of the other tanks that I purchased like I said I get one or the other generally sometimes neither one sometimes I buy a tank and it's just it's not giving me good flavor production it's not giving me good vapor production no, none of it so I feel like this one is actually a good all-in-one and it's nice and small so for somebody who doesn't vape a ton all day where you're constantly having to fill the tank this is a good option now for somebody who vapes all day they may want to go with with a bigger model and that would be probably just fine so for me I think this is a great option especially at 20 bucks you can't really beat that 20 bucks for a solid tank I think is really good yeah, especially seeing all the other prices out there tanks go up and up and up so for something like this I think it's perfect now I don't know if it's on sale at, on websites and in these stores because they're not gonna make it anymore and they're gonna come up with something new if they do I'm gonna jump all over it even if it's 40 bucks I like this one so much I'm not even gonna wait for it to go on sale I'm just gonna jump on it because I feel like if they can improve on this even I'm in I'm completely 100 percent in but for now, this is really working well for me, especially this combination of the the eye stick. Like, look how small this eye stick is. This is just tiny. I love it. And I can't wait. This will probably be my next video I'll do on this. And the third video will be on the one that I bought that was totally disappointing. So get ready for that. But in the meantime, this combination has really been serving me well. Now, because it's a sub ohm, ohm tank, or I'm guessing because it's a sub ohm tank, I'm really going through e juice a lot faster. So, usually a bottle like this would last me, say, two to three days on just a normal tank that's not sub ohming. With this, I'm having to buy one of those bottles every day and a half. So, I'll have to get a couple, and that'll last me about three days. So, I'm going through double the e liquid that I was before. Now maybe that's all psychological. Maybe I'm vaping more than I think I am because I'm getting such good flavor production and vapor production out of this particular setup or this tank rather 
and I'm just going through more. Hard to say. That That is very plausible. But I feel like because, because this is burning the uh, e-juice up so much, creating so much vapor that I'm going through it a lot quicker. So for anybody who's going to buy one of these, just know right, right away that you're probably going to go through a lot more e-liquid than you have previously. That's, that's been my experience. Now, so you have the adjustable, adjustable ring down here, which I'll kind of show you. If you turn it, you'll have two holes. That should be, no, that, that's completely closed off. Turn it again, and that should be one hole right there. And then two holes, and then back to wide open. So I've been using it wide open. It's not too bad on just, just the two holes, the one step down from this, but I just, I like an airy draw. I like it as airy as, as I can get it. Uh, just about any device, any tank I've ever had, I usually leave it wide open. I don't close it off at all, but you do have that option. So, and I feel like that should be standard, right? Give us as consumers all the options you possibly can. That would be, that would be my statement to anybody making tanks or any kind of device. Give us as many options as possible. I would love to see this actually fill from the top but unfortunately it fills from the bottom that could be sort of cumbersome having to sit there especially if you, if I'm sitting in my car or something before I go to work it's like I have to unscrew that put it away fill it up put it you know it can get kind of messy filling it up from the top is just hassle freaks you're not taking out the atomizer at all you just you would just unscrew this and then put it back on so but whatever it, it's a it's a minor gripe but it but it's there you do have to fill it from the bottom. Some people don't like that. Now, I guess, you know, maybe you could fill it from the top. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm not, I'm not going to mess with it. I, I kind of want to take it all apart, but I'm not going to. All in all, I think this is a great tank. and it's a, it's a nice, small, compact tank, something that really complements something like this. If you put something much bigger on it, of course it'll work. But to me, it just it goes from something that you can just easily fit in your hand and throw in your pocket to something now I have to leave in my car which I don't want to have to do. I want to be able to have something small enough that I can throw it in my pocket, step outside of work, and just take a, take a vape. Take a few vapes and then feel totally satisfied and go right back in, throw it in my pocket, and I'm all set. So I love the, the fact that these, these devices are getting smaller and smaller. I have no interest in getting something something huge like a lot of these big box mods that you see out there they're just they're just too big I need something small and compact I mean this fits in my fist just perfectly so well and I can just throw it right in my pocket so I, I love that about these devices that are coming out especially this e-leaf eye stick I can't say enough good things about it but I'll save that for the actual video that I do on this in the meantime this tank has just been working like a dream and for the price point, I think it's a great tank. I really am excited to get more Kanger products and see what's out there. I, I'm i kind of down on Aspire at this point, so the idea of going to another company is kind of exciting. And, and actually, E-Leaf is making some really good tanks, too, that I really want to check out as well. So maybe I'll get a couple of them and do, do videos on them also. But for right now, I'm just loving this Kanger tank, and I really wanted to get a video out there so that anybody who hadn't tried it that's looking for something a little bit smaller and that still holds a pretty decent amount of juice but that works really well I wanted to get this video out there so that you guys can kind of get the information so you know check out the check out the all the different websites that have it see what kind of price you can get like I said the place down the street for me that had it was selling it for 20 bucks which I think is a great price point even 25 is good so check it out try to get it for under 30 bucks under 30 bucks I think is good if you can get it around 20 I think that that's that, that's a that's a great purchase. I don't think you'll be disappointed. At thirty or forty, you might kind of don't kind of rethink it and think maybe you, uh, you want to get something a little bit bigger, maybe even a little bit better. But for me, that's a great price point. So check out check out some websites, see what you can find out there, and let me know if you got one and how much you like it. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day.